All right, guys, something new today. You get to see this ugly mug. I hope you're not hating on it too much. And secondly, welcome to the new fish room. As you can tell, we've changed things up since last time you've seen it. So in today's video, we're just gonna go through it and what's been going on. As you can see, that's the 55, no longer the 75. So where's the 75 gone? Where's the blue neon? How's the plant tank doing? We're gonna address it all. So let's go. All right, so as many of you know, this is my blue neon breeder male. Absolute stud muffin, but I've since sold his females, and in a video that I put out three or four weeks ago, you saw that I sold the fry that I had that were big enough to a local fish store. And since then, I've been busy completely revamping the entire fish room. And what was the 55 jewel breeder slash grout is no longer the same 55. So in this little video we're going to cover all the changes that have happened over the last three weeks in the fish room, or the offish as we like to call it. So the 55 a few weeks ago looked like this, an absolute ton of fish in there before I sold them all to the fish store. And quite frankly it was just due to the amount of water changes and filtration that I had on the tank that kept the ammonia levels down and the nitrate levels down, meaning that the fish I had in there actually grew pretty quick. So that was really cool to sell the first few batches. But I'm definitely missing the amount of uh, fry that we once had. The Blue Neon Breeder Male were also in the other end of the 55. And now is in a temporary home. Which I'll delve into further detail about toward the end of the video. But this is the situation right now. is in a 20 high with a bunch of other grow outs. And these are all his kids which is pretty cool. Here we have Fry in one of the nets that are about two month old. We've got some more in one of the nets that are about three month old that I've actually just released and then we've got four juveniles. Of his first batches of Fry that I'm keeping just to see if I can carry on the line and potentially get a breeding group from him in the future. But time will tell on that one, maybe I'll just keep one of the males and keep the father as well. Have them in the same tank, that'd be pretty neat. But We'll see on that one, that's still yet to be decided. Additionally, I will be keeping this tank once I've sold the remainder of the Blue Neon Fry and then I'll have a 20 high to play with, so who knows what I might do in this tank. If you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. But I feel like with the dimensions of a 20, it would be pretty cool for scaping. So, yeah. So that's the 20 high, just for right now. Now let's look at the 10 gallon planter tank. And this thing's been doing awesome recently. It was my birthday about two weeks ago, so I did get a few new plants that I'm pretty excited to show you. The German Ram's still doing great. The discus is still plodding along nicely. And this is the tank about three or four weeks ago. And since then, the, the plants have really taken hold and they're growing in nicely. So let's have a look at what three to four weeks growth looks like. So at the front, the dwarf sad just started to propagate. We've got a big plant of Anubius toward the back and then the really big stem plant which I've actually forgotten the name of if you remember it or if you're a big planted guy or girl leave the name of that plant in the comments section below because I actually want to know what it's called it is really cool but the Anubis is doing really good the Latia that I got maybe about five or six weeks ago that's doing great as well and the Anubius Nana Petit in between the rocks is growing nicely as well. So taking into account that this is my first planted tank, I'm absolutely buzzing with how it's going so far. Everything seems to be growing nicely. I've got the lights on for around 10 hours a day. I'm obviously not dosing CO2. The only thing I am dosing is Seachem Iron and that seems to be working great so far. So let's take a closer look.
guys, just a little quick update on the German Blue Ram. His colour is phenomenal. I'm loving how high his dorsal fin on the top is popping up. He's eating like a champ. I'm feeding him New Life Spectrum, small north fin pellets, normal flakes. He's eating beef art flakes that's meant for the discus, but he eats them anyway. And he is absolutely awesome. I'm definitely keeping him. Whatever I did, whatever I do, he's staying. The discus is also doing good. He's actually eating the beef art flakes and omega one flakes and cobalt super color flakes. So he's doing great. He's not picky at all, and he pretty much eats whatever he can get his mouth on as well. So in this little clip, we're looking at the 75 gallon cyclic tank before I broke it down. I absolutely love this tank. I didn't really want to get rid of it, but needs must and overall I'm really enjoying what I did with the 55 gallon so let's take a look So this is the new 55 gallon cyclic tank and as of right now all the fish are the same as were in the 75 but that's going to change. I'm planning to put the blue neon into this tank but I want him to be the most dominant one in there so I'm going to have to sell some of the bigger ones in order for him to still show the same coloration as what he's showing right now. So that means probably selling the more aggressive fish like the Luanda, like the Ingara, the blood parrot's going anyway, as I've said already, and maybe one or two of the others. Essentially, I'm going to make it another juvenile tank. So I'm going to have the main breeder male blue neon. I'm going to maybe probably keep two of his offspring. And then I'm obviously going to keep the dragon blood, the albino that you see there, the hybrid that's looking more of an orange tinge there. He's actually the sunshine's fry, so that's pretty neat. Um, and obviously I'll keep the star sapphire as he's pretty small right now. I'll probably then get a few of us. So if you've got any suggestions for me, make sure you leave them in the comments as well because I'll probably get some smaller juveniles and if you leave some comments and I like the look of them, I'll, I'll get them for sure. But for right now, this is the office slash fish room. Me and the wife occasionally do some work here, whether it's me editing videos or writing and actually there's something pretty exciting coming that I've actually just wrote for a magazine which should be coming out I believe the 30th or 31st of March so stay tuned for next week's video where I'll talk more about that but that is really exciting for myself and the, and the channel so uh, I'm looking forward to sharing all that information with you. Anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed this video I certainly enjoyed making it and if you like this video Please hit the like button, leave a comment and we'll see you on the next one.